Welcome to Drip Irrigation Basics, Part 2, System Design and Installation. Make a map of your farm before you start designing your irrigation system. This can be done using satellite imagery from the computer or by hand. Measure the length and width of your fields, mark where irrigation mainline and valves are, and note the slope of the land. When designing your irrigation system, use gravity to your advantage. Run lines either downhill or across the hill. Avoid pumping water uphill. Blocks are an area of your field that will be irrigated at the same time on the same irrigation line. Maximum block size depends on how much water you have available, the flow and pressure, to ensure all plants in the block are receiving adequate water. Rows refer to individual lines of plants, crop rows, in the field. The maximum length of your crop row will be determined by the drip tape manufacturer's specification for maximum run to ensure all plants along the row are receiving adequate water. If you will be growing different crops in the same field over time, make sure you can easily remove the lines from the field before any tillage or tractor operations and easily lay them out again afterwards. Using mini valves on your drip lines or plugs to cap holes in the header line will help give you more flexibility in changing row spacing for different crops. Close off the end of drip lines in a way that makes them easy to open for flushing in the future. If you're using drip tubing, there are many ways to do this, including a simple figure eight, where you can fold the end of the line, tuck it in, and then when you need to clean the line, simply just slide this off, open it up, and let the water flush out. For drip tape, a popular option that's uh, very easy is just to cut a short section off the end of your line. Imagine that this is the end of your row in the field and you just do one, two, three folds over, bend it a little bit like a taco, and then that short piece you cut, you can just slide that over the portion, the folded portion, and it will uh, stay securely in place. Then when you're ready to flush the line, simply slide it off, let the water flush out, and then you can close it back up again. There are also several types of fittings available that will basically perform the same function for different types of tubing and drip tape. There are many types of tools that you might wanna use to help with the installation of your irrigation system. You have assorted cutting tools, such as pipe cutters, tape and tubing cutters, standard scissors, and as well, you may use a variety of punches that will help to create holes in your drip tape or drip tubing uh, for the various emitters to be connected. As well, you have things like clamps to secure the, the pipe to the fittings, um, and you may use other types of uh, PVC glue or cement if you're using PVC pieces as well. Installing your system, starting from the main valve, um, you want to make sure that you have the right size fitting to the pipe that you're using. After the main valve, you want to ensure that you have your backflow preventer or check valve in place. And if you are on a municipal system, make sure that it's high enough off the ground to meet your local regulations. Usually that's going to be 12 inches. Also make sure that all of your components, that you have the proper direction of flow coming from your water source, through the main valve, through the backflow preventer with the arrow pointing that direction. And then the next thing you're gonna include will be your filter. This is an example of a quick release coupling, which is super convenient because we know that the filter is something you're gonna to want to remove to be able to clean periodically. And sometimes it can be tough to open these. And if you're concerned about accidentally cracking your pipes, if you have quick release couplings, that's a very easy way that you can Simply loosen the thread. You don't have to worry about the rest of your system as it stays in place. And you just open these on both sides. And that will allow you to remove the filter for cleaning and then an easy reinstallation afterwards. Remember as well that we wanna put pressure gauges on both sides of the filter so that you can easily monitor for when that filter is starting to get clogged if you're seeing that drop in pressure and when you might need to take that out for cleaning. For each field or irrigation block, 
Include a shutoff valve from the irrigation line. Install a secondary filter if needed. This is recommended for water with high sediment loads. Install a pressure regulator not to exceed the maximum pressure for the drip lines in each field or block. Install the header line for each field or block and then connect the individual drip lines to it. Place drip lines with emitters facing up to reduce clogging. There is often a line marked on the tape or tubing to indicate which side the emitters are on, or you can see them by looking closely. Use landscape staples or pile soil between emitters periodically down the row to keep drip lines in place near plant roots where you want them. Use a simple setup such as a pole through the middle of the drip tape roll to help it unspool easily. When you are all finished, turn off the system by slowly opening the valves and check for leaks. Keep in mind that it'll take some time for the system to prime, meaning fill with water, before becoming fully pressurized down all the drip lines. As a final step, use latex paint to, on any exposed PVC pipe to protect it from degrading in the sun. We hope these videos provide you some insight on how to get started with drip irrigation. Please see parts one and three for information on system components and system maintenance. Many thanks to our community partners as well as the USDA OPPE for providing funding for developing this video and related outreach materials. Versions of this video series are available in English, Ilocano, Mandarin Chinese, and Thai languages. Please check out the links in the video notes for more resources that may be of use to you. Happy growing!